Good Friday morning, my friends. It is April 2, 2021, and it's almost noon already. I had a very long conversation this morning. My daughter called me, and so I'm happy, happy again. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go crawl in my bed and cover myself up with the covers and not look at my phone and not open the mail and not do anything the rest of the day. <laughs> just, just stay happy. Let's <laughs> just stay happy. <laughs> Let me take a sip of I haven't even had a chance to drink my coffee this morning. I just heated this up in the microwave. So let me take a sip and we'll get the book out. have my contact in so that's good okay let's see what April 2 says I have to take my clip off or it'll fly off somewhere <laughs> us against them the scripture is Matthew 5 43 245 you have heard that it was said love your neighbor and hate your enemy but I tell you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you that you may be children of your Father in heaven. Wow, that is a big request Jesus made of us. A big request. He causes his son, S-U-N, to rise on the evil and the good, and sends rain on the righteous and the unrighteous. My goodness, do we have unrighteous today. Oh, just shocking, shocking, terrifying. Oh, the things that we see going on affecting the children. The precious, precious children. Oh, there's going to be a price to pay for those people one day. There's going to be a price to pay. Let's see what she has to say. Sometimes people are divided by different beliefs or goals. It makes sense that you are closer to people who agree with you. And unfortunately, it's a slippery slope to being snarky toward anyone who is different. Especially with the current convenience of social media. Oh, boy. Jesus' response to unkind behavior was, Stop it. Love your enemies as much as you love your friends. Whoa. God does, and he blesses all people, not just the ones who agree with you. Well, he may bless all people, but there is a hell where he's going to send a whole lot of people that don't accept his son. They don't accept Jesus, God's son, as their savior. So, yes, it rains on the just and the unjust, but there is a judgment day coming. There's a judgment day coming when every knee shall bow. Oh, I hope that day is soon. My daughter is very, very knowledgeable about a lot of the badness going on in the world and of course she always wants to tell me all about it <laughs> and I'm like stop 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 please don't tell me anymore I just don't want to know but how can we stand against it how can we pray against it how can we bind and rebuke Satan who's causing all of it if we're ignorant to it that is Satan's number one tool is Christians Christians who love God, they're so ignorant of Satan and what he's doing in this world. And because of the ignorance, he's getting away with murder. Literally murder because the Christians aren't standing against him. They aren't resisting him. They aren't pleading the blood of Jesus and praying and quoting scriptures and understanding that he is a defeated foe and we don't have to let him run all over us and run all over our country. If, if we ever had unity again, 
If we ever had unity where all the Christians could come together, forget what religion you are, what kind of church you go to, all come together. Number one, Jesus is our Savior. Number two, we know that he died on the cross and defeated death, hell, and the grave. And number three, we can stand against Satan and all of the evil things he does on this earth if we could ever get in unity. So, so necessary. So that is my prayer. Unity and love and agreement and let's change this world and be ready when Jesus comes back for us. Love you, my friends. Thank you for your precious comments. They mean the world to me. They mean the world to me. Thank you so, so much for your precious comments. Jerry and I are going to go to lunch in town today. We were supposed to go yesterday, but something happened and we didn't get to go. So we're going to go today <laughs> to um, probably be the country kitchen. They have really good hamburgers there. The only problem is whenever I order a hamburger, they put fries with it. So I'm going to try to remember today to say, could you turn those fries into a side salad with no calories, please? <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness, my goodness. Thank you for your compliments on my quilts. This one's called, what's it called? Twinkling? Hmm. Oh, I remember. This is the one that I made with three of my friends. Three of my friends that were going to love me to death. We were going to be the best, best friends forever and ever. Well, two of them disappeared from my life and never came back. But one of them, Terry, my redhead friend Terry, was one of them. And so we like switched. We all made half square triangles and we switched them with each other. So we have material from four stashes that made up. You can make up whatever quilt you wanted. I think I'm the only one that finished it. But I named mine Love Lit diamonds because there was a lot of love involved at the time. I don't know where the love goes from some people's hearts, but <laughs> I have a, I seem to have a real gift for chasing it away. <laughs> All right, I'll be back tomorrow. You know I will.